Ice climbing and rock climbing share the same basic body position. Most of the climber's weight is on their feet to reduce arm fatigue. The main technical challenge in ice climbing is mastering ice axe usage, especially the swing. Thanks to their tools, ice climbers have the freedom to create their own holds and to find their own way along these ephemeral routes. Whether you're a novice or an expert, be sure to adopt a basic body position that is as balanced and relaxed as possible. To conserve energy, the pelvis must be close to the wall and the back slightly arched, like in rock climbing. Keep your arms as straight as possible with the shoulders low. Keep your feet slightly apart, heels low to reduce fatigue and prevent front point slippage. Lift one foot, then the other, one tool, and then the other. Advance only when you're properly positioned on your contact points. Take small steps. Find mini ledges. Don't take steps that are too high, and stay below your tools to help prevent them from pulling out. The ice axes should be at the same height, shoulder width apart, about 10 centimeters below their maximum reach. An axe placed too high is difficult to remove. Minimize pulling with the arms and keep them straight. In contrast with a previous technique, the axes are not placed at the same height to increase reach. Place an axe. Position your center of gravity under the axe, then move your feet up. You're in the triangle position. Repeat the movement. Depending on your comfort level, Pivot your crampons for internal and external edge holds to increase reach. Avoid placing your axes too close to each other. Look for concave areas, hollows, and small holes that facilitate pick placement. Place the pick at the desired location for greater precision. Two words sum up a good swing, precision and firmness. When cocking your arm, the axe head should go only slightly behind the shoulders. The swing is a combination of shoulder and wrist movement. For good pick penetration in the ice, remember to slightly loosen your grip on the axe, keeping your wrist firmly lined up with the swing. It is important that the pick enters the ice perpendicularly, and especially that it stays aligned with the arc of the swing. When the placement is wrong, the axe rebounds. In this case, redo your swing. Several observations can tell you about the quality of your placement. Start by noting the penetration of the pick into the ice. Be sure to look at the areas of fragile ice created by the placement, commonly called dinner plates. If in doubt, clean them and redo the swing. A firm, slightly sharp sound with a lingering vibration is synonymous with a good placement. Experience will be your best ally in assessing placement. It is mainly with time and experience that you will learn how to become a better ice climber refining your technique and judging ice quality.